what is his role as? I'm the chief planning, planning officer for the city of Bainbridge. And I am the finance director for the city of Bainbridge. I'm the uh, chief financial officer for the Lobby Club Corporation. Uh, yeah, and the uh, vice president for um, healthy corporations. And um, for Cascade Manor, we thought about building a high rise. Um, why high rise? Basically, the high rise um, gives us the opportunity to build cheap or quite cheap uh, condos for many people. So um, it would be an affordable way to live in a high quality way of life. And basically, yeah, we were aiming on a high rise of about 25 stories. 25 stories. 25 stories. Okay. And um, we also thought about open space. Like you know, open space is quite important for a modern city to have, uh, or for people to live in a modern city. It gives you much opportunity to um, actually have quality in your life, with like little parks and little outdoor spaces. So uh, we thought about if we had a high rise, many people in there, cheap way of living, and on the same side have an open space of five percent where you can like actually live outdoor. Like combine the best out of two modes into one. So high rise and five percent outdoor open space, how you call it. And um, yeah. these were like our first thoughts about how we would approach the cascade panel. Okay. So those are those would be your main aspirations for casting the and everything. Okay, for us on um, our side, we're looking at having a lot more open space than five percent. I would say, mm -hmm. just because it helps with like, just like a nice landscape areas, it helps with the environment, and sure. just giving people places to walk around, like parks and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that's on our far side, we'd be looking at more around 35 to 40 percent open space. Okay. And we have had an issue recently with. Yeah, we, we know it's your dangerous open space. So that's fun. Okay. Yeah, that was it more I was talking about for height um, wise. A group of citizens who were really um, on the edge of going too high in terms of an actual high rise because we have our nice Olympic River that we, people enjoy having a nice view of and a high rise would certainly dampen that and ruin a lot of, cause a lot of issues for uh, people within Bainbridge. Okay. So we were definitely hoping to have it under eight stories for sure. That's our main goal. So 25 stories is just to be really high for us. Okay, so um, basically you feel that a high rise would be in the view of people who want to enjoy the uh, river. Yeah, yeah, the the city. yeah, there's a citizens group who's like up in arms about that and try to start a movement to against having a high rise of the Are there high rises in the Bainbridge? No, they're not. Okay. From our okay. I mean, it would be like a prestige object if you have a high rise in your city. Mm -hmm. Like like the statement to be modern, to be future oriented. So it kind of shows that you're shifting a bit more towards the urban, urban aspect of your city as opposed to being you know, rural and very suburban. Yeah, we, I definitely understand your point. Just for us, we want to maintain the image of being being rich. It's not just about becoming the right. next ginormous urban city. We want to have our own identity, and part of that identity is this Olympic River that people enjoy viewing um, from around the city. Sure, for sure. Okay, okay. So I see um, we have like a gap to fill uh, yeah, in this areas. in this field. So um, maybe let's shift to the open space. I feel like we have uh, like some different ideas in that. Um, the reason why we would like to have the open space a little bit less is um, that we had a case last year where we got sued by one resident who lived in an like, apartment that has a lot of or had a lot of open space, and um, we feel like it's.
quite difficult to keep the security in open space area as high or as high as we wanted to or as we you know, wanted to be. So um, I think 30% is quite difficult to 4% is. Yeah, we, we, uh, which wouldn't be acceptable from our standards. We, you know, it obviously costs us to cost us a lot of money if, if there's more open space, so we can for security purposes, uh, for lighting, um, for all the stuff to make sure the citizens of the, mm -hmm. of the city are safe are very safe. Um, and you know, having those legal worries um, in, a, in the back, it's, it's a little bit concerning for us. Um, Do you know how much like open space you have when this legal issue came up? Unfortunately, not know. Um, oh. No, we don't. But um, yeah, just based on some of our analysis that we've done, we think you know. We don't want zero open space for sure. We, we very much agree that open space is important. The community is a great spot for everyone to gather and collect with each other. Um, so, you know, the ballpark, you know, five percenter in, in the low, for sure the low single digits is kind of what we're aiming for. Um, low single digits, okay. Or high, high single digits. Like, again, anyway, ballpark five or ten percent we would be able to negotiate in. Um, beyond that, we're a little bit concerned about the liability from our perspective. Okay. I could, well, I could add to that definitely from our side, just having um, less open space as well, not only really takes away from like, the image you're trying to portray, mm -hmm. but it also um, costs us saving more money on building maintenance and just stuff like that with the amount of, it's like less, with more open space is less building, per se, so not as much building costs and maintenance fees. Right. So that's is the maintenance your cost or is it our cost? Okay. If, we're, if we're the ones building the building, who maintains the building? I think it's us, right? Yeah. Yes. Like we, like we, we will build it and then we'll try and like keep it running. So um, basically, you have no cost that's connected to that. Um. Should we come back to the open space because of the uh, large gathering that we're seeing right now? Would you guys like to move on? Yeah, I, I mean, if we're. I, yeah, if we can come back to it if we want. I mean, it's obviously we're going to have to actually come back to it. Yeah. Um, obviously, if it's, a, if it's a pretty big concern, mm -hmm. for us, it's a really big concern yeah. uh, not to have that open space. So maybe um, there's other areas right. that we can kind of work with mm -hmm. um, to ensure that happens. Uh, I think one of the uh, one of the other areas that we think is really important, obviously, when we're um, bringing this building through, we, we you guys want to start a building inspector, yes. um, so we, we think that's a pretty important area too. Um, we've got some really good close friends of ours who we would obviously like to give the business to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I mean, our. our one of my really close friends, uh, Thomas, uh, we think he's really up for the job. Um, and for us, that would, that would help for sure. Um, um, see, we've had some issues with Thomas in the past, um, and we would really prefer not going with Thomas. Okay. Um, however, Connie Bear uh, seems to be a really great option. I think mm -hmm. she has uh, a lot of experience and can really help us meet our end goal. Okay, so. We don't love Connie Bear, but you know, if we were able to maybe negotiate some of this open space, uh, we would be willing to give you guys Connie Bear, um, kind of work together there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for us, see, um, the inspector isn't as big of a deal for us. Mm -hmm. um, open space, again, is I believe both of us have a big mutual investment in open space. Um, so. I don't know if this is the best um, way to meet an agreement because it's less uh, significant on our side. Um, however, subcontractors is a very important part for us, and I think yeah, we might be able to work something out on that end. What, you know, what does you think about your, like, the way we organize it in terms of subcontractors? Um, we are very interested um, trying to keep business local. Mm -hmm. um, we want. Um, we are very interested in having local subcontractors. Uh, 
ideally um, any number uh, between five and ten, um, but uh, we are willing to work with you, obviously. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we've got some really uh, good relationships with some really good subcontractors. Um, obviously, we know we want to keep business local and keep the economy in in Bainbridge uh, chugging along. Uh, but from our perspective. We've got some people who we've worked with in the past and have done a really good job. Um, and for us to continue that relationship with them moving forward, it's pretty important. Um, also, just because we know that they're going to do a good job, we know that we're going to be able to deliver a good building to Bainbridge on a timely on timeline. Um, and you know, obviously, no mistakes in buildings. It's clearly important that we have good engineers, that we have good builders, good architects. Um, and that all kind of comes into that category. So for us, we understand that yes, we want to hire local people if we can, but um, using our own guys is pretty important to us, uh, just from a, from a cost perspective. Yeah. Um, so what are you looking for? Like, ideally we would like to hire all of our own guys, uh, just because we've worked with them in the past and we think they do a really good job. And how many guys do you think will get the job done? Do you have a certain number of people you want to hire the, of your team? We want them all to be from our team, which means I do not want them to be local. Just unfortunately they don't live in the yeah. Bainbridge area of our team. Um, so your uh, guys wouldn't be hired by like the number of, say like five of your guys would be hired you're more focused on not having local. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's same but different. Um, we, we just ideally would like our, our own team to be here, so there would be zero local guys on the team. So we wouldn't be able to work out something where we could have half local, half more team? Um, and maybe we can add to this point um, that we're in discussion about building media. Um, like medium investment um, housing units in the county and um, we thought that maybe you would be interested in having additional houses a year from now or two years from now. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can, like, yeah. in order to keep business local, we could maybe agree on a lower number for this project, but then on the second project next year. Interesting. Um, I know Michael has some experience yeah. with this project. We're working on um, a different project right now to build really new really attractive housing prices, house prices. Mm -hmm. And but we, we have do have a deal on the table with another development company right now, so maybe we can work something out with you. Like honestly we already have an offer from the city of Kent. Okay. So um, yeah we have some we have some ideas what we would do out the like other way. But I mean, in order to keep this deal working, we will be like we will be willing to like work with you for the for the other ones as well. Okay. So what will we so let's say maybe if we agree on on having one local firm for this project manor, Cascade and all, and um, then on a price for the second project of only seven million, I think this would be very fair. So that so you'd be looking to build the, the, the housing for? Yeah. Okay. But that way, like you have, we have, we have the, the local part of that project and we ensure that you have the, uh, the second project with local firms for the other. Mm -hmm. Well, well like, I'd be, uh, I think some of them may be a little high for us. So, yeah. okay. I think we may be closer to the upper five range. Mm -hmm. Lord, we, we've already gotten off on the table, right? Which is higher than that. So that wouldn't make any sense from our perspective. Oh, yeah, so we okay. can offer here as well, but just okay. so it maybe depends on, on we could agree on this memo as well. Okay. I think we would be willing to take some concessions maybe on or for the second project if we could agree on a deal for Cascade Memo. So, okay. okay, yeah, we can definitely try to work something. Um, 
So we have to show it for both things. But like, you would be willing, in order, like, if we made concessions on the second project, and you made concessions maybe for the local firms yeah. that are hired for this project, mm -hmm. okay. so we could work a little in that direction. Um, would we be able to work with um, two local subcontractors and with your seven? We would be possibly willing to take some sort of risk or hit there um, mm -hmm. if we could, you know, work out some other uh, area where we could make it back up. Um, Maybe let's keep these two numbers yeah. like in the room for, for, I, for a moment. Like, I think so. if you're able to take on two of our local subcontractors from the council mm -hmm. in general, we, would you be able to do 6.75 million for the second project? So like 25,250 less than the second million? Mm -hmm. Consider that. Okay, let's keep a, let's keep a number of seven slash six point seven five okay. for that like for, 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 for the moment. And two local and then we'll, for the moment, yeah, and then we'll That's see right. like how we can add this all up into one. Right. right. Maybe like in the middle we have to adjust these numbers again, but like it's the first base yeah. is to start from. Can we I guess talk about one quick are we going to see the breaks in this? Can we talk about one more thing? and then have a quick um, team discussion before coming back. Okay, um, so obviously the only thing we haven't touched on is real estate tax. Um, obviously by providing us these tax benefits, um, you know, it's, it's pretty beneficial to your city. Um, so basically we've kind of worked with a bunch of financial experts on um, sales tax revenues that you guys are going to get from uh, you know, us putting retail spaces in our building. Um, yeah, so you guys are expected to get pretty significant um, tax revenues. Um, our analysts projected six million bucks in tax revenues. Um, so I mean for us, it, it, or it makes a lot of sense from from your perspective to give us kind of these tax rates or give us a tax ceiling um, of the max we can pay. Um, so because of all these all these retail things, we kind of want to cap it you know, around 250 to 300 grand in taxes per year um, would be ideal for us. I mean, um, obviously I'm not 100% sure what your analysts have projected the tax revenues to be. Yeah, um, I are or analysts have anticipated that we would only have three million half of uh, what the other analysts have said. Um, so obviously we are kind of working with different numbers here. Uh, we are more reaching between 800,000. Um, however, I think with this um, kind of has the same um, feel as the inspector and I think those two could work together. If, you were able to, we might be yeah. able to reach closer to your number for tax revenue if we could have Tony Bear um, as our inspector. Okay, uh, that would be tough for us. Um, what's your uh, like confidence in your analyst projections? Um, we have a 98% con confidence interval in our okay. projections. So, yeah. I also have a question. Um, what were uh, like what, what were the problems you had with Thomas in the past? Um, Thomas, uh, he, uh, I think he he's just slowed down a lot of our projects um, in the past, and especially when we want to get uh, Bridgebane back on the map as a city, um, and Kent is rising, we can't have this slow progress, and I think we need to have um, quick decisions, um, and we see this being problematic for this project. Okay, so you want this project to be finished quickly, on time, and in a high quality place? Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, I think Thomas was the only one that we had major issues with. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if there was another uh, inspector that you guys had felt. So we, we can work with, we can talk about that in a sec. Um, can we just do a quick team discussion and get back to this?
We can cut it. No, let's do it after the Okay. 
again. Uh, so I feel like here that we are on a good track mm -hmm. to agree on that. Maybe let's come back to maybe one of the biggest gaps in the height of the building. The height? Height, sorry. No. <laughs> um, like, you wouldn't go higher than eight stories. Because like, like well, we, like we would make concessions that we understand the Yeah, we can make concessions as well. Um, the big, like, um, like what, what we can only really go higher if we can get more open space for the building. Okay, like we were aiming, okay, like we were aiming after you, like hearing your, your, your point of view, maybe at 12 stories. Like we would decrease it significantly by half and um, then maybe, maybe let's have like 7 or 8% open space. For us, the, we'd be willing to go higher. We just would like, like the basic thing for us is getting as much open space as possible. So we want to. Okay, so bringing the building down, obviously, as I'm sure you know, makes us lose yeah, units, exactly. right? Which essentially makes us lose money. Um, so, yeah, we would be willing to maybe push down to the 12. 12, 14 stories. I like what if you guys feel like 25 stories is really optimal for you? We could we could do it, mm -hmm. but you have to seriously um, consider giving us a lot more open space and seven to eight percent. What if we seven to seven? You said seven to eight. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, definitely have to be. What if we go the other way around? What if, what if we lower a building um, but have less open space? Is that more beneficial to you? Um, what? Like what height building? Like in the ballpark, like low teens kind of deal? It'd be more beneficial for it to be low tens for us. Okay, because but if, if we got into that range, would, because like if we think of it, it this way, right? Like, if our building's not as high, then we want it to be yeah. more dense. Exactly. Right? No, I, I um, so that. if we're going down to, you know, like tens, even, um, but we, even high, high single digits, we would need like very little amounts of open space um, to make up for the fact that you know we're in those those lower so numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Because for us, it's it's not about the numbers. But like also the the other part that someone sued us because having like too much open space, which is actually damaging our reputation uh, as no, as no. something that can build like safe condos. Who um, would you be willing like if you did kind of like uh, you know high single digits, low teens for open space, and we did you know high single digits in the uh, building height for? Do you know what I mean? I, I get, no, I understand your point, but that would just not be beneficial to us at all, in any sense, if we lose money on both, technically. Wait, okay, so open space is really important to you. Yeah, so we prefer to have more open space, and we'd go... What? we go higher, going as high as you need for having more open space. Okay, so open space is super important. Um, okay. So how so, much space were you aiming at? Is that like 30% right? Yeah, we were saying 30 or 40, somewhere in that range. We can That's, yeah. I mean, we could go down on the lower end of that, but that would be our optimal point. Um somewhere in there. Let's bring that into play. So what to get 40% open space. That's a job, that's not going to Okay, so that makes me have that. How about in the lower end of that, like 30? Like maybe like, like, 20, like, 15. And maybe we can bring, or maybe we can like 